Hi Libra, this is just with your May 20th, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So um, Libra, <coughs> excuse me. It looks like you guys are worried about money, <laughs> but then the thing that you're going to get is money. Um, so some of you are thinking a lot about money, your foundation, being grounded, you know, Am I going to have enough to eat? Am I going to have enough for my bills? You know, and money is coming in. There's, you know, Libras always are the sign that I never see too much money woes. Uh, but some of you may feel like you're not as stable as you would like to be. Some of you this week may be in heavy contemplation, wanting money, wanting what you deserve. <clears throat> um, feeling like you deserve some money and you're fighting for it. OK, uh, the challenge here is for you to see where you are because you're doing really well for yourself or you're doing OK for some of you. Everyone's not doing really well, um, but to get out of your head and feel like and stop feeling as though, well, if I don't have this, then I'm going to be, you know, desolate. <laughs> so, you know, for some of you, you may be thinking that uh, because. That is going to kind of create that there that will bring that lack. So it will and it will make you and make it harder for you to appreciate what you do have because there's a lot that you have. So that's a good thing. I feel like a lot of you guys are thinking about love and thinking about what you love. We're not talking about love at the moment, but we're talking about what you love. <clears throat> that may be on your mind. Excuse me. Border sign women or more emotionally available women may be very much a blessing or benefit to you at this time. Girlfriends are very much a blessing. You're getting your wish and you're going out. Your social life is picking up. Or you may have a girlfriend, a couple of girlfriends who are great additions to you. Um, even I feel the stubbornness of male energy is a benefit to you, um, even if you can't figure them out. It'll all work itself out. So there's some benefit in not knowing. I've been telling several signs that it's a benefit of not knowing. You've come from a place of, you know, not accepting anything less and not allowing people to emotionally manipulate you. You're seeing clearly what's right and what's wrong. And some of you could have recently been waiting on a judgment. You may feel like through this process of waiting for some form of judgment that there's someone that's incompetent. Um, someone's been lying, flat out lying about some type of a, um, judgment or getting something taken care of. Some of you could just be lying on a test or cheating on a test is what I see here. So be conscious of that. You may have lied on your resume and you can find your ass right, out, right outside with that line. So try not to, you know, mislead in any kind of way because you may get caught. I do feel like some of you may feel this week like you're out of control and you don't know how to, you know, end it, put an end to a situation. Um, but there's someone here that you have that you can always depend on. And they're like your partner in crime. There's someone that you can always kind of turn to and they got your back and you got their back. But some of you may be feeling like to what like there may be some, I feel even though you may have someone that's like that or two people around you that's like that with each other, someone may feel like they're the oddball out, right? So I get this, all we have is each other. That's what I get. And this could be at the workplace, right? And someone may um, have proven themselves to be ousted out of the group. So where there was three, it's now two, you know? And, you know, the two that's together, there's some things that needs to be kind of improved. <laughs> so some of you may be looking at relationships, particularly ones that, um, you know, the person lacks money. You know, you, you may find every time they're around you, they have their hand out or, you know, you can't seem to get on your feet when this person's around or there's always drama when you're with this person. Some of you are really taking stock of people that may create problems for you that you may feel like, you know, isn't meaningful to you and you're making those tough choices. You may be by the end of the week cutting someone out that or you can be cutting out one to two people um, that no longer serves you, if that makes any sense. Because uh, Libras this week is getting very clear about Libra, about who they're dealing with, about who is who, what is what. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and deciding to move on if it's time to do so. Some of you, congratulations, because you can be welcoming baby, baby to the family or baby to your own addition. And it's like, finally, I can go out and have a glass of wine with my girlfriends. Finally, I can resume life again. Um, if you've just recently had a baby, some of you may not know where you stand. You, your father may not be very happy about your life and where you're going. But I feel a lot of Libras are starting to take their power back and getting very clear about what they like and what they want and what they love and willing to kind of, you know, let the chips fall where they may with the people around them if they don't like it. The advice here is for you to aim higher than what's around you because there's people that I feel, again, waste a lot of time and there's a lot of things that could be done more productively and so some of you are taking stock in that and that's the advice is to take stock in what's going on you'll get very busy by the end of the week 100 percent. you'll feel like you're running here there and everywhere you may not have time to be so compassionate with people so if you have a libra in your midst they may be very black white very blunt very um yes no and unapologetic as well. But I do feel like as we get closer to the end of the week, Libras will become a little bit more conscious of how they're dis um, distributing their words and being a little bit more conscious about how they're talking to people. Okay. Because you do have some people around you who are very emotionally sensitive and <clears throat> they may not be ready to hear the harsh truth, if that makes any sense. Money, again, looks really favorable. Looks like there's going to be a good amount of money that's coming to you right now. And it seems that um, some of you are going to feel as though there's a new beginning, a bright new beginning. So where you felt sh bound and as if things weren't going to work out and that you had no control, someone comes along and kind of leads the way for you. So by the end of the week, things get really good. Now, when we're talking about love, you may feel, again, stuck, bound. You could be with someone who's in jail, so you kind of can't be with them. And some of you are kind of over it if you're dealing with someone that you feel, this isn't going anywhere. You know, I'm not happy. Um, you may have cut off communication or they have and you haven't heard from this person and it's like you want to know deep down inside what the hell is going on here. Like you guys want answers and so you want it now. You're ready to cut the bullshit and just like deal with it. If it needs to be taken care of, let's do it. If it's over, let's file a divorce. If if it's done, you need to come get your stuff. If, if this isn't working out, you need to call and let me know. Like we need to, you know, get down to it. No more playing games. And I feel like you have a wish to really be happy. Um, and it's like some of you, you're dealing with someone who could be quite controlling and that's how they manipulate you by, you know, being very, very um, auspicious, not, not auspicious, excuse me, being, um, being mysterious, like you can't figure them out. And you're going to realize that, you know, that's not necessarily what I want. I want to be very clear where I stand with a particular person. Someone may be on the fence, like they don't know who to decide you or another person. Right now, someone may be going through a process of a divorce or a breakup with someone, and now they want to, you know, put more time and attention toward you. But for some of you Libras, this person is also have intentions towards another person. So there's two people. There was three, but now it looks like there's two. It's you and another woman. And I feel that someone, one of the women are in a place of lack. So she's in a place of need. Um, and I get it, someone's mother and then two women. One woman may have a child. Uh, so that may be the mother of the child. Um, and there's a place of, of lack or she's perceived as someone that's coming from a place of lack. Um, and then there's a woman that could could be pregnant, may have, maybe, maybe about to get pregnant. But there's another woman that is loved and that is in love with someone. And it could be you that you're in love with this person. Um, but for some of you, if it is you that's in love with this person, I feel that some of you, although you're not completely over this person, you're at odds with them and you just want, you want things to be done properly. You're tired of the manipulation because someone is definitely manipulating you. Uh, someone is strategically playing chess and moving the boards around here, there, and everywhere. And you're tired of it. You're like, if you guys want to be with each other, have each other. Like, I, I can't do this one more day. But how many weeks are we going to go through this, Libra, of you not being able to have it and deal with it one more day? <laughs> 
looks <laughs> that's all I keep seeing every week for you guys. Um, I feel that you know if some of you have been waiting for this you know relationship to feel as though everything is okay again, you will get that. And especially if you're dealing with a Virgo, you may get that because that's what I saw in there. Um, extended so you may be getting that now and i feel like this if you're dealing with a virgo there isn't going to be um especially if you're dealing with a virgo man there isn't going to be any doubts it's going to be very clear that yes this man wants you he's 100 percent all in but for some of you toward the end of the week someone's coming back as after a delay of not communicating expressing themselves and they're going to get they're going to come back you guys are going to get very clear about where you stand with this particular person because i feel like they'll be at your mercy um and it seems like you guys definitely feel good there's a part of you that feels good especially if you go out you get out and you resume life with your girlfriends not just with this man or with your mate but you have a contrast so you go out you spend time with your friends with your family with other people and that way you can kind of see, or especially if you're out there dating for you single Libras, it's a good time to kind of get out there and date. But just know that there's a possibility that definitely you can meet someone that you can have a long-term relationship with. But ultimately, it's going to be up to you um, to make the right decision of who's the right person for you. Um, because the advice is that there's a lot of options out there and there's somebody from your past coming back, but only you can choose what's right that you want to move forward with and build something new. So ultimately, Libra women, it will be on you to decipher what you want. Do you want the past? Do you want what's going on in the present? And do you know, you know how to cipher between the two? Ultimately, it's, it's still going to be up to you to take uh, what's the most valuable option that's going to benefit you the most? And it seems like some of you will have clarity, uh, but it stops at this decision that you're ultimately going to have to make. So on the extended, we'll look at, you know, their actions towards you and how that's going to um, resonate and how's that going to, um, what will be the results of their actions and what will be the results of your actions um, as this week goes on? Um, what will be the actions? What will be the results? What are you guys thinking? Uh, the feelings, challenges, regrets. If you're interested in those things, click that link below. We get it started. Otherwise, I would love to hear from you, Libras. Um, seems like just a, another week with Libras. <laughs> Other than this person coming back. See how that's going to pan out for you guys. But Share us in the comments section below. Let us know how this resonates. Otherwise, um, if you would like something personal with me, I can be reached in the beginning and into this video. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Libra.